Hey YouTube, what is going on? It is Huncho here, back with another input delay reduction video. Um, this one's geared towards the devices itself instead of your computer. Um, first off, I want to start out by saying um, I've been working on an NVIDIA Inspector profile for about a month now, and I finally gotten um, settings that work best for Fortnite um, for the lowest input delay without reducing your FPS barely at all. Um, so if we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to post um, a video on that and then talk about a few things where if it does decrease your FPS too much for your liking on your computer of what to change in the profile so you get your FPS back. Um, so let's hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Let's get to 2,000 subs and I'm going to walk through that video. Okay, but now on to this one. Okay, so our first step here, we're going to go into Device Manager. We're going to go View. Devices by connection. I'm not going to show all of this. I'm just going to do it on a couple so that way you get the gist of it, but then the video isn't too long. So we're going to scroll down until we find. Might have scrolled too far. The host controller or USB controller. I've disabled the ones that I'm not using, but this is the one that I'm using right now. So for all of these, we're gonna make sure we're gonna start from here, going down, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to properties. And on power management, you want this top checkbox not clicked on any. And if you can click the checkbox on the bottom, which is usually on the HID ones, you wanna make sure allow this device to wait the computer is checked. So we're just gonna do this on the way down. I'll show you right here. Not checked. Not check. Click the down arrow as far as you can go. See on the HID keyboard device, it's allowed the device to wake the computer. So you're gonna want to do those for all of the USB devices as you're going down here. Usually the audio ones won't work. You're gonna want to do it for all of these. I'm not gonna show it on all of them, so it makes the video a little shorter. <clears throat> okay, the next step is this thing called device cleaner. I have the link in the description of how to download it. it looks like this except with devices in here. So all these devices are when you unplug, plug something back into your computer. Um, it downloads a new driver every time you do that. So when you unplug it, the device, it shows up in device cleaner here. Um, none of these devices are active on your computer anymore. Every time you plug it back in, it registers as a new device in Windows. So you go in here and devices, you click select all and then remove selected. And it removes all of these devices in here. And remember, this isn't anything that's currently plugged into your computer, so you don't have to worry about something not connecting. It's the only things that are not connected in your computer. Okay, and our next step here, we're gonna go into control panel. I already have a shortcut. We're gonna go into mouse. Double click speed we want on fast. So like pointer speed, we want right in the middle here at six clicks over, I'm pretty sure. And then enhanced pointer precision is not checked. The wheel, this is a little subjective. I like to put it on one so that, cause I have scroll wheel reset and um, pick up on my mouse wheel. So that way when I'm picking up an item, if I only want to pick up one thing, I can slightly move the mouse wheel up one click and it only registers once instead of multiple times. That's everything for that step. We're gonna go to keyboard, repeat delay on short, repeat rate on fast. We're good there. We're gonna go to ease of access center. Make sure these two top, top boxes are not checked. Make the mouse easier to use. Uncheck mouse keys, uncheck all of these. Go back, go into make the keyboard easier to use, uncheck all of these boxes here, except this one, doesn't really matter. Click on the sticky keys, uncheck all of these, click on the mouse keys, click all of these. Click on setup filter keys, you can leave this on but 
doesn't really matter. Uncheck all these other ones though. Okay, so the next step here is registry edit changes. Since there's not many, I'm going to just show you guys how to do it. So you go to run, reg edit. I think it's a little more transparent if I show exactly what I'm doing rather than just the link. So we're going to go to local machine. We're going to go into software, Microsoft, roll down to input. Under input, you go to settings, controller processor, the little arrow here, cursor magnetism. So what you're going to do is change it to all these values in this column right here. So it's right click, modify 5, right click, modify 28, magnetism delay 32, update interval 10, velocity 168. Now we're going to go to cursor speed, cursor sensitivity, 2710, cursor update interval, 1, oh, now navigation, 1. Okay, so we're good with that step. Now we're going on to the next registry edit. We're going to go to system, current control set. Services. Now we're going to scroll down to find KBD class. Click the little down arrow, go to parameters, keyboard data queue size, modify, change this value to hexadecimal 10, decimal 16. Scroll down to mouse class, down arrow, parameters, mouse data queue size, hexadecimal 10, decimal 16. Okay, so now the last step in this video is setting up your timer resolution properly. I actually made a previous video on this, so I'm not going to show you. But you don't have to use set, up, set timer resolution or ISLC. Um, there's a different way to do it that actually runs a lot better on your PC. And there's certain command line um, CMD BCD edits that you have to run to get it properly to work on your computer. Um, so I'm going to post the link in the description for that video. It's very short, but it'll be much easier if you just go to that video and check it out rather than me showing it again here because it's already set up properly um, in the fastest way to do it in that video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe. Let's get to 2000 subscribers so I can show the video on the Nvidia Inspector profile and really decrease your guys' input delay. Uh, thanks for watching again. Peace out.